Am I the asshole? For the meltdown I had on Christmas Day which caused my dad's wife to cry. The background starts with my mom dying. I was 11 and my sisters were 16 and 18. Our dad met his second wife a couple of years later when I was 13. The expectations for my relationship with her and my sisters were very different. My sisters were expected to be civil but if they weren't close it was no big deal. But almost everyone minus my sisters and minus my mom's family expected me to see my dad's wife as some second mother or maternal parental figure. They got married when I was 14. My dad's wife wanted me to divide Mother's Day between my sisters and maternal side with her. My sisters were not expected to do the same. But she would say she wanted to celebrate the day with her kid. She signed us up for mother-daughter things. She would get hurt when I didn't want to go and would never ask my sisters. I asked her before why she expected me to do these things with her but she never invited my sisters. She said she was raising me and wanted to be a mother presence in my life but they were grown. I told her and my dad on separate occasions that I didn't want or need and wouldn't accept someone else into that kind of figure. I was ignored. I had a small run-in with my sisters when dad was getting married because I said he shouldn't and they said he should be allowed to move on and mom would want him happy. When I explained what was going on they realized why I was feeling that way. They tried talking to dad but it did no good. My dad's side of the family would all make comments that I was lucky to have another mother figure, or how I don't seem to give her the care and consideration she deserves. They would ask why I seemed to spend no time with her of my own free will, or why I was never loving toward her. My dad told me I should show her more love and affection and he told me I made her feel left out when I didn't tell her stuff or when I made plans with others but not her. I know some people would love to have someone like this in their lives. But I want the same relationship my sisters have with her. But more is expected. So Christmas Day came and everyone was at our house for Christmas minus my mom's family. My dad and his wife gave me a card from my parents and my sisters got them with dad and his wife. Then when it became time for family photos we got one with the three of us and dad but then my grandparents wanted me in the family one with my dad and his wife but my sisters weren't expected to be in it. I tried to step out and my dad's wife said it wasn't a family photo without their kid. This was the point where I lost it and I told her I am not her kid, she is not my mother figure, that she is dad's wife just like she is to my sisters and I want it to be that way. I said I do not love her and hate how they all treat her like she suddenly became a parent to me. My sisters were on my side but my dad was furious and his wife cried and cried harder as I continued. Am I the asshole? Nada. Anyway you can move in with your sister's other relatives. You will be 18 soon, try to be civil before separate living arrangement is made. Not the asshole. Forcing relationships is a great way to build resentment, relationships should form naturally. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It really bugs me when people seem to think step parents are a control C control V situation. They aren't keys. You don't just get a new one and expect it to fit. Nota, people needs to stop forcing kids to treat the new partner as a mom dad, you can't force a relationship. Not the asshole and hopefully with this blow up your father and his wife will finally listen to you. If they would just realize that if they treated all you sisters the same, then you could develop a better friendship with your father's wife. Not the asshole. Your dad should know that mothers are not as easily replaceable as wives. You can't just push a random woman on children and say now she is you mother, love her. Not the asshole because they didn't care about your feelings, only your stepmothers. Not the asshole I'm so sorry you have to go through this. Ironically they haven't cared for you properly because they never listened to you. I hope this was a wake up call for your family to really take care of you. Your dad is TA here. He has actively encouraged the erasure of your mother, which would be wrong at any age, but at 13 is particularly insensitive, as you are going through so many other changes physically, emotionally and socially. Not the asshole. 
not the asshole. I am sorry you are being treated this way. Not the asshole. This is what happens when you try and force a relationship. The hurt she's probably feeling could have been avoided if everyone just respected your wishes. Not the asshole you have been very clear from the beginning. Your stepmom is not your mom and to try and force it would only ever result in this blowout. You cannot force people to love one another and erasing your mom like this is highly offensive. Not the asshole. I'm sorry you're going through this. Is it possible to move in with one of your sisters or other family member when you turn 18? Absolutely not the asshole, your feelings are, 100, valid, and shame on your dad, his whole side of the family, and his wife for trying to force a connection between you and her as if your mother is replaceable. Not the asshole is there any way you can just, stay with your sisters or your maternal family? The ones who care about you and don't run roughshod all over your boundaries and feelings and didn't try to erase and replace your mother? Not the asshole. They should have listened to you before the meltdown. Not the asshole. This sub and step parents trying to force a relationship name a more iconic duo. Not the asshole she thinks since you're the youngest you would be the easiest to mold like WTF there are three kids not one and it's creep that she's pushing you. Natasha needs a puppy or a kitten. Not the asshole. I am still trying to wrap my brain around grandparents wanting a family photo of dad, stepmother and you but not the older siblings. You are all a family. This doesn't make any sense. Not the asshole. Your dad and stepmother are for repeatedly not listening to you. Not the asshole she had it coming. Not the asshole and I am so fucking sorry you're even here having to question it. You are allowed to feel however you want about this situation. Not the asshole I'm sorry your dad didn't do a better job looking out for you. He should have been the first one to stay these expectations weren't reasonable and they were hurtful. Not the asshole. Love can't be forced. Trying to force it, will kill it. You're entitled to your feelings. Sweetheart you are not the asshole. Your mother is your mother, no one could ever replace her. I'm so sorry you were put in such a horrible situation. Not the asshole. You can't force love. You didn't need a new mother, you needed someone who accepted you, who was there when you needed it. By pushing this relationship, they only achieve the opposite. They can only blame themselves. She had no kids of her own? Ask your father why he only cares about his wife's feelings and your feelings don't matter? Tell him if it doesn't stop you will go North Carolina with him as soon as you can legally leave his home. Not the asshole. They can't force you to believe your stepmom is a replacement mother. This is all about making his wife feel more like a part of the family and ignoring your own feelings. Not the asshole your dad chose to marry her but you didn't have a choice. They didn't listen to you for years and it came to a boil on this day. I'm sure they didn't like what you said but that is not your issue. You can't force a bond. It needs to be earned.